Well, thanks. We're, we're excited to be here. And um, I just want to say uh, something uh, quickly. Um, you know, uh, Joe Biden has taken to himself to try to single out Florida um, over COVID. Uh, this is a guy who ran for president saying he was going to, quote, shut down the virus. And what has he done? He's imported more virus from around the world by having a wide open southern border. You have hundreds of thousands of people pouring across every month. And it's not just from Mexico. In fact, it's rarely from Mexico. You have over 100 different countries where people are pouring through. Not only are they letting them through, they're then farming them out all across our communities across this country, putting them on planes, putting them on buses. Do you think they're being uh, worried about COVID for that? Of course not. So he's facilitating. Who knows what new variants are out there? But I can tell you, whatever variants are around the world, they're coming across that southern border. And so he's not shutting down the virus. He's helping to facilitate it in our country. And what is his big solution? What is he so upset about Florida? His solution is he wants to f have the government force kindergartners to wear masks in school. He doesn't believe the parents should have a say in that. He thinks that should be a decision for the government. Well, I can tell you in Florida, the parents are going to be the ones in charge of that decision. And one of the major uh, medical people in his administration just recently told parents that they should be wearing masks at home when they're around their own children. This is insane. Joe Biden also believes that vaccination should be mandated by force of government and that you should have to show vaccination status to be able to participate in society. Now, Florida, we're very proud of our seniors first strategy. You look at the mortality in nursing homes among seniors, it's dr declined dramatically. But we said from the beginning, we're going to make it available for all, but we're not going to mandate it on anybody. That's ultimately an individual's choice to be able to do it. Biden, he rejects science because he denies the fact that people that recover from COVID have long lasting immunity. And that's been proven time and time again and the data is very clear. So his vision is just like in New York City, restaurants should ban young kids from being able to go in because they're not eligible for vaccination and law abiding citizens have to produce proof of their medical records just to go to the gym or attend an event or just to participate in everyday society. He wants that, but yet if you want to vote, he thinks it's too much of a burden to show a picture ID when you're voting. So no voter ID, but have to show your medical papers just to be able to live in everyday life? Give me a break. And so I think the question is, is we can either have a free society or we can have a biomedical security state. And I can tell you, Florida, we're a free state. People are going to be free to choose to make their own decisions about themselves, about their families, about their kids' education, and about putting food on the table. And Joe Biden suggests that if you don't do lockdown policies, then you should, quote, get out of the way. But let me tell you this. If you're coming after the rights of parents in Florida, I'm standing in your way. I'm not going to let you get away with it. If you're trying to deny kids a proper in-person education, I'm going to stand in your way and I'm going to stand up for the kids in Florida. If you're trying to restrict people, impose mandates, if you're trying to ruin their jobs and their livelihoods and their small business, if you are trying to lock people down, I am standing in your way and I'm standing for the people of Florida. So why don't you do your job? Why don't you get this border secure? And until you do that, I don't want to hear a blip about COVID from you. Thank you.